Now then, everyone, how is everyone? Yes, we're in the pot and shed. We're only staying here for a few minutes. We're going to zoom up to the allotment where it were all now tomatoes and grafted tomatoes. These ones are my tomatoes, and I'm suspecting there's something up, not, not up with them. I'm suspecting there's something up with me soil. Look, I'm going to show you that. Can you look at it? The soil's greener than the bloody tomato plants, and they've just been like repotted into this compost so i'm thinking this compost is a little bit stale yeah i think and to be honest it's me it's this you know the jack's magic i think any compost that was bought in 2020 is off but what i'm going to do i'm going to take a couple of these up let's just take these two up to the allotment come with me right so here we go inside oh it's cooking on gas man it's lovely warm in here just have a little quick perusal we have had some brutal frosts, absolutely brutal. I'm just <laughs> checking before I show you anything. But what I did, I'm getting fed up of the pot and shed. I've been playing in there since early November. Now I brought some of these up a couple of days ago. And to be honest, you can tell even a couple of days. So maybe it's not the, can you see the, they just see me. I was gonna change that compost round, but I've got them in here on. Oh, I haven't got them. I thought I'd put them on this pull. I better do that. So I've got some. I was gonna put some polystyrene. It's on like a little kind of thing shelf in, and I want over the next couple of weeks to start bringing up all my tomato plants, but. Those are me Brad's Atomic Grape, which I'm kind of going to put along here. But Jonathan, now you know Jonathan's stuck his head above the parapet and said he will do some grafted tomatoes for us because I always have four Bellarigo like bought in grafted and I'm a total grafted junkie now I love this I don't fancy doing it but I like the you know the way they grow and the, the kind of the produce Jonathan's daft enough to have a go he has a little clip of Jonathan hello Tony well I did promise you a sneaky peek at your tomato plants now when I messaged you and said I had some interesting tomato varieties this year and, and and offered you some grafted plants i didn't know then that you were going to use me as your only grafted plant supplier this year so i'm a little bit nervous because i have never done this before and there's a grave danger that i'm going to look a real plonker if this all goes wrong so <laughs> so here i've got a tray of the rootstocks this is a 60 cell tray i've got three trays planted one and a half with rootstocks and one and a half with the varieties to graft onto them now there are only one or two cells missing so i think i must have about 85 of each so i'm pretty sure if i can get these plants to the right sizes that i should be able to give <laughs> get you at least six plants out of 85 it would be a, a tragically bad failure rate if I can't get six out of this lot but the bit I'm nervous about is getting these stems to the same sizes because when you graft them the scion and the rootstock they've got to match pretty well it's not like grafting trees I've done quite a bit of that um, but if the wood is a different size for a tree you just use a different graft um, no such choice with these the stems have to be compatible somewhere up the length of the stem. They've got to match. And that's the bit I'm really nervous about because I think if I can get them to the right size at the right time, then I should be able to get a reasonable number of plants out of this lot. But today it's time to pot these on. I can't leave them in here until they're ready to graft. So I'm going to pop them into some seven centimeter square pots. Now you're not going to get to see your plants for a while yet. Um, these need to grow on for another week or two. Um, then I will graft them and then they need to be mothered for another week or two because it's a pretty brutal process. I mean, you chop the top growth off the rootstock, 
it's immediately starving because it's not getting the carbohydrates that the leaves are producing. You chop the bottom off of the scion, it's now dying of thirst because it's not getting any water. And you've got to hope that the graft heals quick enough before the plant keels over. So they're a little bit delicate once they've been grafted and they need a little bit of mothering. Um, and that's, that's a big difference from the sort of grafting I've done with fruit trees. They don't really need any mothering. So today I'm potting on the root stocks. Now these were sown a few days ahead of the varieties and so the varieties are still a little bit behind. Um, I'm hoping they will catch up. They don't look too bad but today it's all about the roots. So what I'm going to do is fill up the pot with compost quite loosely to start with and then I'll make a, a nice hole to receive the plant. Now these plugs look, look pretty good. There's some fine root there, but it's uh, by no means um, bound up in that cell. So I can just drop that into the hole, firm it in a little bit, give that a drop of water in a minute, and then the job is done. So there you go, Tony. That's a quick look at the tomato root stocks. Hopefully I'll be grafting in a week or two. But if it all goes terribly wrong, I do have about 85 ungrafted plants here. So hopefully you'll be satisfied with a few of those. Anyway, that's all from me. So we're going to do around about three videos in this little series of grafted. And to be honest, John, he's, even these rootstocks looking way better than my plants. Johnny's going to send us up another little video of like the, you know, like grafted and all that. And then I'll, I'll have them up here and hopefully, like you see, he's got a few there. Surely we can get some out of it. I'll put a link to Johnny's channel, Johnny's Kitchen Garden. Link below if you want to go and subscribe to John as well. That would be fantastic. Right then, I might, I might bring some more up and chance this frost. <laughs> Look after yourselves. Take good care.